Hey, it's Regina here with PrayerCommunicationWithGod.com and I'm so honored that you have come to listen to this today. I have a question for you today and that simply is, who told you? Who told you? Now you may be going, who told me what? Let me explain. When I got up this morning, I just felt kind of agitated, just out of sorts and, and just not myself just I just felt like I could rip somebody apart and nobody had done anything to me nobody was home with me I was home alone so there was no point in me getting up like that there was no reason for me to get up like that in fact I went to bed listening to the Word of God so there was really no reason for me to be feeling like that at all so I knew I recognized this isn't me this is a tactic of the enemy trying to tear me down, trying to destroy my day, and I'm not letting him do it. My husband called in the process and I told him, you know, I just feel out of sorts, but here's the thing. I have a choice in what my day is going to be like, and I'm going to battle this and this is going to turn around because I'm not walking around in a bad mood my lips rolled out having a pity party all day long not gonna happen today's not the day for that today i rejoice in the lord i make the choice so i pulled up my holy bible out turned it to genesis and just let it read because what we hear enters us what we see remains external so i just let it read to me and i was doing some things while i was listening to it and this jumped out at me Turn with me, if you will, to um, Genesis chapter 3, and let's look at, um, let me find where I'm at here, Genesis chapter 3, let's look at verses 8 through 11. Genesis chapter 3, verses 8 through 11. They heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees in the garden. Then the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? He said, I heard the sound of you in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked so I hid myself and he said who told you that you were naked have you eaten from the tree which I commanded you not to eat what jumped out at me this morning as I was listening to this was who told you who told you so I ask you today who told you who told you that you were anxious? Or who told you that you were in a bad mood? Who told you that you had cancer and it was going to be a death sentence? Who told you that you've got to walk around in the pain of fibromyalgia? Who told you this? Who told you? Not God. Not Holy Spirit. Not Jesus. Who told you? That's right. The enemy is whispering these things in your ear. But you don't have to listen to him. Because Isaiah tells you, by his stripes, you are healed. By the stripes that Jesus bore, all 30, 59, 39 of them, you are healed. And you don't have to walk around like that in that pain. Sure, you go to doctors, and, and the doctors confirm these reports, but here's what I'm going to tell you. Take their medicine. I'm not telling you not to follow your doctor's plan. That would be foolish of me. Follow your doctor's plan, but add God's medicine to it. Each day when you get up, declare, I will rejoice in the Lord, for by His stripes I am healed. No more do I have to walk in pain. Thank you, Lord, for my healing. Thank you for dispatching angels. Lord, my, my child is sick. My child's been diagnosed with these things. But I thank you and I praise you that by Jesus' stripes my child is healed and he don't have to suffer anymore. And I thank you for the testimony that you're putting on his lips for the furtherance of your kingdom. I thank you. Who told you you were broke? What in God? What did God say? 
bring your tithes and your offerings into my house so that there's food in my house and I'll open the windows of heaven and rain down blessings upon you so much so that your storehouses won't even hold them. So who told you these things? Who told you that your life was broken? Who told you that you weren't lovable, that you were unworthy, that you're invaluable? All those are lies from the enemy. God said he has a plan for you, a plan which gives you a good future and for your welfare, not for calamity. God has a good plan for you. So who told you? So when something comes in your mind or upon your body that don't line up with the Word of God, you don't have to receive it. It's not yours. You don't have to receive it. God gives you blessings. He allows us to go through things, give us a testimony to draw us closer to Him, to elevate us. Even Jesus descended before He ascended. But you see, even Joseph didn't stay in the pit. He ascended out of the pit. You don't have to stay in the pit. Declare the Word of God. Increase your faith. Hear the Word of God. Read it out loud. Read it out loud because what you hear enters you. You have victory. Jesus hung on that cross and He said, It is finished. It is finished. You don't have to live under the curse anymore. It is finished. Jesus has done the work. You're free. You're free and you are a righteous child of God. Walk in it today. Walk in your victory. Revival is here. Revival is in you. Let it out. Just praise God. Just praise God. Thank Him. When these circumstances come up, Lord, I thank you that this circumstance is here because you're going to show me how powerful you are and how you work it all out and I don't have to worry about it. I can't control it anyway, so I give it to you. Give it to him today and walk in that freedom. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for this word. I thank you for this encouragement. I thank you for pulling me out of that bad mood I was in and pulling all that off of me and giving me the freedom and giving me joy unspeakable and full of mercy. I thank you, Father. I thank you for each one that's watched this video today. And Father, I just ask you to bring that joy to them. Remind them of your promises. Remind them of how you see them so they don't have to walk around with that distorted self-portrait, but they can see themselves as you see them. Whole, healthy, happy, joyful, and helping others. Blessed beyond measure. Thank you, Father, for them. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your compassion. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for being with me, my friends. I know this was shorter than usual, but that's okay. Um, I'm happy that I could get it out there and it could be shorter. And I pray that it has spoken life into you and that it has encouraged you today beyond all measure. That is my prayer, that you are just lifted up, edified, and encouraged, and that you can walk in the freedom and life that Jesus came to bring you. God bless you. Until next time.